We're hiking today in Southern California with masks on. Yes, welcome to the Nisha Jackson Show. I'm Rusty Humphreys and that's uh, Nisha Jackson. And uh, we are hiking and seeing a lot of people hiking in masks. And uh, that's a pretty good idea, right? To be walking around, have my mask. I'm saving the world and myself all at the same time. Right. Okay, well, I just have a few things to say and I wanna be careful about what I say because I don't wanna mislead people. Okay. But I also think sometimes we make uh, um, the CDC, our healthcare agencies make recommendations. And then if we don't have specific instructions on the recommendations, sometimes we just go a little, little nutty with them, right? Okay. We just kind of take it too far. So I want to just give you some common sense guidelines for wearing a mask, especially when you're exercising. Okay. I mean, I'm seeing people uh, on this mountain with uh, masks on and I've been wearing my mask. So uh, that's a, a good idea, right? Right. What we're trying to avoid is uh, several things. Number one, when I see people uh, breathing rapidly with a mask on and now the mask is wet, it becomes somewhat of a bacterial petri dish, so to speak, right? Uh -oh. So now you're re re-breathing bacterial infested masks. And I'm thinking, let's just start off by talking about why it's important to clean your mask. Okay, do I need my mask on? I mean, we're less than six feet away. I think you should take your mask off. Really? Okay. Yeah, for right. now. We're just going to talk about this. We've, uh, we've been hiking together. Yes. So here's the deal. If we can maintain distance, and not everybody hiking and exercising outside can maintain distance from each other, but if you can maintain distance, you need to take the mask off periodically to get more oxygen in and less carbon dioxide buildup. Because it's like hyperventilation, right? So if you think about wearing a mask and you're breathing heavily, the mask collapse into your mouth and it causes you to do shallow breathing, which is similar to hyperventilation, too much CO2. So we have to just use common sense when we're talking about masks. And I would like for you to think about, if you can, maintaining distancing from people, taking the mask off and taking some deep breaths. And what we're gonna do another show on the appropriateness of breathing, but mm -hmm. breathing from your belly, because your belly is where, the, the deep parts of your lung is where you can actually bring in the majority of the oxygen. It massages your abdominal organs, and it actually helps bring in more oxygen. So this is one of the things I'm seeing, Rusty, is people breathing very shallow. They're not, they're, they're taking shallow breaths, which is terrible when you're exercising because you get dizzy, you get headaches, you get lightheaded. So this is, these are some of the things we want, we want to just try to avoid. So, do, now, do you want to suggest people stop more and breathe? Is that kind of what you think when you're yes, exercising? But take the mask off if you can maintain distancing and take some really good deep cleansing breaths through your nose. The nose is actually a, a cool little organ because it filters all of the dirt and bacteria and, and, and um, organisms from the environment. Your nose is meant to filter that. Your mouth doesn't do it. So if you can, if you're if you're trained enough to do this while you're exercising, bring, breathing through your nose and out through your mouth. So is that why you shouldn't uh, clip your nose hairs and just let them grow? <laughs> so that's really filtered. It's a, real good, it's it's a, good a real filter. good filter. Yeah, okay. The other thing that I'm kind of concerned about is how wet our masks get when we're exercising. So our masks should be cleaned daily. And a lot of people, or changed if they're disposable, should be changed daily, especially if they're getting wet. Hmm. Okay, so again, this is an example of taking things too far. I have heard people taking their mask because bleach kills kills COVID, right? Right. So people are taking their masks, they're soaking them in bleach overnight or for several hours, they're letting them air dry and then they're putting their masks on and then guess what they're doing? Because they're getting breakouts on their face because bleach is very drying to the face, it's very irritating to the skin and, and they're breathing bleach. Don't breathe bleach. That's bleach, not good. Bleach fumes. So I mean, I I'm no like, doctor, but worse? I figured that one what's out. What's worse? Okay, these yeah. are just common sense things okay, that I you have, have a question. to keep in mind. I have a question because my I've got kind of a fancier mask. I've, yes. I've got a... You've got a nice little ventilator thing going on I've got two there. ventilators and yes. one of these. Now, it says this is good for 100 hours. Right. Um, so you don't have a problem with me using this. And I kind of like try to have it air out if I'm not wearing right, it. Right, but here, I'm going to go back to when you're using these for exercise like we are today, mm -hmm. hiking, this is going to get wet. It already is wet. 
So you're touching it with your hands, which now, I mean, that kind of defeats the whole purpose, right? You shouldn't be touching the inside of your mask like we are right now in this huh. video and then putting it on your face because you might as well just be touching your mouth and your, your, hand, your hands to your face. So, but if it's getting wet, it becomes bacterial infested, right? So it's like I said, a bacterial Petri dish. We got to wash it more often or daily if you're exercising with your mask. So just remember when it's getting wet, it becomes a bacteria dish. That but we, you wouldn't we suggest clean. wearing a mask exercising anyway, right? Or no? I don't think wearing a mask while you exercise is good for you. I actually think there's some health complications of doing it, especially with strenuous exercise. So if you can get away from people and exercise, I would suggest not using a mask. But again, social distancing is really important right now and we need to be careful about that. Now these guys behind us, they're quite a ways away. That's nothing to worry about. I'm right? not worried about that. Okay. Yeah, right. that's, that's uh, 30, 50 feet away and I'm, I'm okay with that. You guys don't have the death virus, do you? <laughs> no, okay. They, all right, great. Thank you. All right, so we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all I have to say about masks. Just use common sense. Think about what you're doing to yourself when you're when you're wearing a mask, and just be careful about maybe contaminating yourself with your own mask. Okay. That's and deep breathing, belly breathing, which you probably aren't doing with a mask on. But just be conscious of your breathing and breathe in through your nose into your belly. Your belly should be coming out when you're breathing. Your lower diaphragm should be expanding. That's the best kind of cleansing breaths you can take when you're exercising. You'll get more oxygen consumption that way. Okay, great advice. Uh, what is this in your bottle? It's a different, it's not clean water. What is yeah. that? This is actually yours, oh. so I'm not going to drink it. Okay. But uh, this is Brand X. I like to take uh, at least one bottle of this while I'm working out. It has the uh, trifecta of ingredients. It has ginseng, which is great for energy. It has quercetin, which is an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antioxidant. And it's also really good for opening up your brain and getting you to focus on your workouts. And so, I don't care about any of that. I'm like Mikey in the Life Cereal. I just like it because it tastes, tastes good. good. Yay! <laughs> From, it's orange cream sickle. It does taste good. It is. How would I get a, uh, this at my own house? I don't yes. Understand. Oh, Siri, I just Siri doesn't understand. Yeah, Siri, 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 go to takebrandx.com. Yes, take, <laughs> yes, Siri, takebrandx.com. Get your pickup sticks, and uh, they're in orange cream sickle. Other flavors coming soon. Yes. But this one is awesome, and go get that uh, right now, takebrandx.com. That's right. All right, thank you very much for checking us out. And uh, we Don't forget will... your mask, your safety of your mask. Oh, All right. I'll, I'll take a Go ahead. Cameraman, go ahead and, and show the people behind us. Some masks, some not masks. They're exercising with the mask. You're, are you going to go up with the mask? No, I'm going to sit. I'm going to socially distance myself. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to wear the mask when you're hiking. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time. I'm socially Russell distance, Humphrey. though. There we you have go. to be careful with our advice. Okay. We'll <laughs> catch you next time. Russell Humphreys for Nisha Jackson. This is the Nisha Jackson Show.